Next up, we're gonna be talking about GTA 3, baby. Pretty much the mother of all open world crime adventure games, yes. whatever. The definitive edition is now out, so yeah, let's get into this and actually go back and review it for what it is before the definitive. We're going back, no redos. No. We're taking it back to 2001. Graphics crap. Graphics <laughs> crap. <laughs> Stiff animations everywhere, let's do it. So this game opens up with our silent protagonist Claude and his girlfriend Catalina in the aftermath of a bank heist. She Catalina betrays him. Yeah, she screws him over. Yeah, screws him over, shoots him, and leaves him for dead. And then the next thing you know, your prison convoy is being intercepted by the Colombian cartel, and you escape with a bomb expert named Eight Ball, and then you're loose in Liberty City. Let's Lucky. go. Yeah, lucky. <laughs> it revolutionized the GTA series itself because yes. the first two GTA games were actually this weird sort of top-down uh, perspective. Yeah. Like the cops are coming, all you can do is hear them, you can't see them coming. But in this one, you can see the horizon, baby. It's the game that started the punch a pedestrian craze. I mean, let's be <laughs> real. Run down the street. I mean, you can do it. It's open world, like for real open world. Go have sex with a prostitute. Steal cars, punch cops, do whatever you want. I mean, no, but don't you, punch cops. Yeah, yeah, you start doing jobs or missions, as the game calls it. That's how you advance the story. You do missions by going to certain locations, and certain missions aren't unlocked until certain time periods, or until you do this or do that. Yes, which but, most of us didn't do. We just started punching people and ran around and exactly. ran for the cops to go. There were cheat codes for this thing that were crazy. You could get all your weapons. You could you could call down a tank if you wanted to. Yeah, two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Oh, so like many up cool your wanted cheats. stars, lower your wanted stars. The yes. cheats, what, like, that made this game so fun. Compared to modern GTA games, of course you're gonna find this one a little bit lacking. Yes. Animation is stiff. Shooting gets kind of clumsy every now and then. Uh, but Vehicles because... may not handle as as good as they do in the modern games. But yeah. who cares? But it's because that's the new games. This was the yeah. the man, the one that started it all. Detractors of this game do often cite the violence yes. uh, contained therein. They actually banned it in Australia. Oh, because of prostitutes. But they weren't mad just because you could get the prostitute. They were mad because people would shoot the prostitute after. So it was you gotta get violence. your money back. You gotta get you your gotta money get back. money back. What kind of a man are you? One interesting fact is that Catalina is one of the only main female characters in all. Oh, GTA that's games. true, actually. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It doesn't happen much. Sexist. You are muy pequeñito, amigo. So this game actually ends with theoretically Claude shooting Maria because yeah. because she's sitting there complaining about everything and like she won't stop talking and then suddenly you're a gunshot and the screen goes black. This one cost me fifty dollars. But that's just a theory, a game theory. <laughs> they they did some other things. They took out a character named Darkle, which was a hobo that uh, basically sent you on terrorist missions. But hey, this is 2001, so 9/11. They're like. Get it, get it. <laughs> Alright ladies and gentlemen, for me, I'm going to give this a full five rewinds. I am maxing out the scale here because uh, because why not? I mean seriously, this is one of those revolutionary games along the lines of Super Mario 64, GoldenEye. I mean think about what this game established. Think about GTA 5 right now and how popular it is and how many people are playing it and how many people enjoy it. That formula came from this game. How can it not be five rewinds? Yeah, for me, I'm going to give this game four rewinds. Now, I can't give it five. I, I just get four straight up for me just so you can fight tanks in the army. Run from the cops, run from the army, run from pedestrians, run from everybody. Uh, make sure cars. you punch them as you run. Though. Yeah, and hopefully you guys will go back and play it for the first time yourselves. Yeah, if you've played Definitive Edition, uh, me and Jeremy, we don't have time to do that kind no. of thing. But if you do, leave us a comment below. Let us know how it is. Awesome.